Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. This video, we are going to share with you. Build a stock count app with Upsheet. Before we go through the app function, let's check the warehouse setup and warehouse structure. First, the warehouse is with two racks. Second, there are six different items stored in the warehouse. And last, the same item may be stored at different racks. While the app functions. First, we have importing stock list. Second, a stock counting process slash. Last, the reporting. All right, let S check how does it work. This is the stock list, we have grouping by location and grouping by item. In both list, we may import the stock list with CSV. We may get the CSV format by export function. Next, the stock count process. First input, the location. This location list is loaded from stock list. Note, the app will auto-selects the last used location to ease the stock counting process. Next input, the item ID. It is a list that loaded based on the location selection. And this item it may also scan from a barcode. Next input, the count quantity. Last input, stock count photo. The app also records who performing the stock count, and when is the stock count performed. User is allow count the same item at the same location multiple times. The system will logs all stock count records. But one uses the last recorded quantity, as the current stock count quantity for the item. Let's stock count the IT006 at rack 1 for one more time. The last recorded quantity is the current stock count quantity. Let's check the stock count list. Both stock count process is recorded. User may edit the stock count logs photo and count quantity. However, this is not a recommended method. It is preferable that users record the stock count with the correct quantity and image. As the app always take the last count as the final count quantity. Alright, let's check the reporting. The stock list by item, grouping and listing total quantity for the item, regardless location. Variants will be highlighted. This report provides a quick overview of view of items with quantity discrepancies. Next, the stock list by location. It is grouping item by location. It listing stock quantities versus stock count quantity according to location. Variants will be highlighted. This report help users identity which specify locations item quantity is not tallying with the stock count. All right, we have go through all the function for the stock count app. Summary. First, ease of use by importing stock list. Auto select last used location during stock take. 
Implementing Barcode Scanner. Second, Flexibility. Allow multiple counts for the same item and location. User may edit stock count logs photo and count quantity. Third, Audit Trail and Report. Record and view all stock count logs, who did the stock count at when. Discrepancies in overall and location-specific stock counts is highlighted. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. As we wrap up, I wanted to share a couple ways you can support our channel. First, hit the super thanks button to give us a tip. It really makes difference. Second, join our channel as a member to get cool perks like early access to videos, exclusive live streams and special badges. Your support helps us make better videos, create more content, and keep things running smoothly here. We really appreciate anything you can do. Whether it's a tip, becoming a member or just liking and sharing our videos. Thanks again, and see you in the next one. Bye.